Oh, my heart. I don't want to talk about that anyway. Let's not talk too much about that. Um, hey loves, today we're gonna do a Q&A. I'm just hanging out in my car. I went and got a coffee. I got the, um, I got a grande iced brown sugar oat milk shake and espresso. I know you guys are shocked and I know I need to stop using straws. I need to just like stand, sanitize the lid because I keep, I don't know, it just grosses me out to think people have touched the lid, but then I'm gonna put it in my mouth. You know what I'm saying? Anyway, cheers. Cheers. Hopefully you grab a snack, grab some coffee, do something. I don't know. We're going to hang out for a minute. I have so many questions from you guys. I feel like this is the most questions I've ever gotten for a Q&A, which is really exciting. Um, you guys had some really good questions. I've just kind of scammed through them. I asked both on Instagram and on YouTube. Honestly, I don't know. I don't know how we're going to get to all of them. This might have to be a part one and part two. Um, we probably realistically won't get to all of them. But there's some that, of course, are multiple questions that I've asked multiple times, like relationship questions, YouTube-related questions, body positive questions um, that have just been asked in different ways. So I'll try and cover most bases that I can. Uh, so yeah, I'm just chilling. Uh, I hope you guys are doing good. How are you? Uh, most likely you're not new if you're watching a Q&A, but if you are, hi, what's up? My name's Shannon. Uh, I make beauty plus size fashion videos food videos, vlogs, stuff like that. Um, I feel like in a really weird place. Like I feel like motivated, but like, I don't know exactly what to be creating. Like obviously I'm going to be keep creating fashion. I love still creating makeup videos. I know there aren't that many of them and I say this all the time, but I still get messages and people are like, why aren't there more makeup videos? Um, and it's just, people don't really watch my makeup videos anymore. So uh, I would love to keep doing more vlogs and more stuff like that because that's easy. You can, that it's easy to vlog, <laughs> like given I don't do much stuff. Um, I'm actually outside an old Navy. I am rambling so, so much, you guys. We ramble in, let's just jump in, get to the questions because I could ramble for forever, forever. So let's see. So Laura asked, what do you do to relax, pick yourself up when you're feeling down? I've been really stressed at work and my mood is so low. Always love watching your videos for a pick me up. You are so sweet, Laura. I'm so sorry you're going through it. When I am having a rough time, I will either go hang out with a friend, um, I will spend time with my cats. <laughs> I love to just like lay in bed. I know it's so good for me. Um, but like today I just kind of felt blessed. So I decided I was like, you know what? I'm going to film my q and I'm going to go get a coffee. I'm going to run to the post office, do everything I need to do and go sit in my car. Um, and just hang out with you guys because that's what I like to do. So I love that you like to watch the videos when you're feeling down. Cause I like to hang out with you guys and do stuff like this when I'm feeling down because I feel less alone. Like I am a very independent person for the most part, but it's nice to not feel alone and you guys help me not feel alone. So uh, the biggest thing is hanging out with friends or I'll go do stuff like this. Go get a coffee. Um, sometimes I'll just go grab a coffee and go to Ulta. And even if you let yourself like buy one small thing, like it's still, I don't know, it picks me up. I love doing that. I'll also bake. I just like to do something I enjoy. Sometimes I'll paint like anything that kind of distracts me, but entertains me, you know? My favorite thing, of course, though, is getting coffee with a friend because then you get a rant and like get it out. But Laura, I hope things get better and I'm sending you all my love. So Christina asked, uh, can you tell me the backstory of your cats? Any or all of them? Where did you get them? How old are they? How long have you had them? Do, you, do they get along? Which is your fave? First of all, I can't pick a fave. They're all my faves. They're all my babies. They're all my babies. Uh, so I have the queen, who is my big orange bean. Um, I've had her she, since she was a kitten. She is seven. Uh, we adopted her um, from a foster. Same with uh, the two youngins. So um, all of them have been fosters. And we, when I was with my ex, we decided that we wanted a black cat, just cause you know, black cats are the least adopted. Um, so we adopted Binks, but Binks was really attached to Luna. And when I went to visit um, the kittens at my sister's house, cause she was, help, she was fostering them at one point. Uh, <laughs> I just fell in love with Luna and I couldn't not take Luna home. Uh, so the, they, the, the, um, so those two are three three yes i love my little beans they all have such crazy personalities and i am such a crazy cat lady and they now that i work from home uh they have complete like attachment issues i sometimes will get in the shower and like luna will sit in between the shower curtain and like the shower liner and just sit there and be like what you doing and then i open it and then binks is sitting on the toilet they're just like mom what are you doing? I love, they're so cute. I wouldn't change anything. I wouldn't change anything. Clearly you guys know that they have attachment issues because I can't film a try on without Luna being in my lap. We all know this. Christina actually asked another question and I feel like it's a really good one that kind of covers um, the body positivity 
realm of the questions. So she asked, how did you overcome the insecurities to put yourself out there on the internet? Like, I know we all have bad days, but girl, you do fashion hauls frequently and I could never. You're beautiful, but I know what it's like to grow up being bigger than the average beauty standard and having to fight those insecurities. Love you, girl. If you look back at my first clothing hauls, uh, they were very strategic. Like they were very much like just, I would only really do tops and I would pull on them and I wouldn't let them touch my belly. And I just, um, honestly, you guys built me up and like helped me realize that I'm not the only one that's shaped like this. And like everyone feels this way. Once I finally understood how so many women feel the exact same way that I do, um, women of all shapes and sizes, like we all have our body insecurities. We all do. Um, and I think that at one point my, like want to help other plus size women feel a little bit better about themselves overcame. So I feel like I, you know, I don't do it because I'm vain. I definitely don't sit there and look at the mirror like, girl, you look good. There are days where I hate it. I'm not going to lie. There are days where I put on clothing or I just don't want to put on clothing. And I just, I'm just, it's rough. That's the only time that I ever struggle with any part of this job really. Besides, of course, when people are like, extraordinarily mean or creepy but at the same time like I'm just putting clothing on my body and there are plenty of women in my same size there are women bigger there are women smaller there are women of all shapes and sizes and the thing is is I'm helping someone somewhere maybe buy something that they you know are going to feel good about themselves in or they're going to feel cute in or they're just going to see me dancing around belly out bat wings going and they're going to be like oh I'm not alone you know does that make sense so I think that it's, it's, I just pushed past that and my ability to connect with you guys just to make a difference. Cause I know me watching other plus size women do fashion hauls and stuff like that. And really my perspective changed a lot when I went on social media and I just like on Instagram, I followed so many plus size babes. Anytime I see a plus size like fashion vlogger, I follow them. I'm just like, girl, I just, I, as many as I can follow, if you guys have any favorites, leave them down below in the comments because I would love to know because it really just helps me, you know, and I, I definitely suggest that if there's anyone that you follow that makes you feel crappy or is constantly talking about diet culture or anything like that, that you don't want to be reminded of every single day, because I feel like as plus size women, that's something that is always in the back of our mind. Um, and I, I know it's always in the back of my mind, even another big part is I just focus on body neutrality. I try and just accept my body for what it is. My body is keeping me alive. My body is letting me live like, you know, it's allowing me to do this job, to talk to you guys. Like there's so many small things that your body does for you that are actually really amazing. And when, when you start looking at your body as more than just a vein, like vessel, if that makes sense, uh, it's just, I don't know. It's just such a weird, it's just, it takes a long time. And again, I still have plenty of bad days, but on good days, that's just basically where I am. I am. I'm just accepting my body for what she is not necessarily loving it but just like cool you know everybody has a body we all have issues you know if the worst thing about me is that i'm plus size hell yeah <laughs> hell yeah jennifer asked what's your favorite clothing site to shop from honestly i really like shopping on shein i know that people can say one thing or another but like it's so affordable they always have everything like i wish there were more size inclusive i've seen a lot more size 22s but we need to expand even past that that's not big enough to be a size inclusive company but for me personally because i wear a size 20 um i usually can find things that fit from shein uh but torrid is forever like if i had the money i would be buying pretty much everything from torrid because i just love torrid it always fits good it's always decent quality like there's a lot of questions again about self-love and like how do I deal with bullies and how do I deal with um just hate comments and stuff like that honestly again I sometimes have bad days and sometimes I will just let myself feel it and then once I feel it you know I process it it's good to go usually it doesn't last more than a day um every once in a while someone will say something that like is a judgment of my character and that honestly bugs me a lot more when people call me fat I'm like cool I am fat like it is what it is I'm a come to understand that um, hurt people hurt people and anyone that goes on the internet and wants to or in person anyone that has anything negative to say to someone else especially someone that like unwarranted didn't ask for it didn't like that we're not having a conversation anyone that like just wants to spew their negative opinion like that that's their issue you know that's their issue and I read something what was it it was a tweet let me see if I can find it. Some people will dislike you for being confident about the things they're insecure about. I don't know. 
I try and think about also how lucky I am that I'm doing this job that I love and every single job because of positives and negatives. So it is what it is. And the most beautiful people on the internet still get hate comments. I try and keep that in mind too. So Liz asks, can you tell us where you purchased the decor behind you in your videos? Girl, I made it. <laughs> I made it. I made I made the vase. Well, okay, the vases. It's in one of my recent vlogs. I'll try and remember to link it down below, but you guys aren't bad at that. Uh, but it's in one of my recent vlogs that, like, it says DIY decor, I think, in the title. And I got all the vases from the Dollar Tree. And then I got paint from Joann's. And you just, like, mix the paint with uh, baking soda. And it makes it look kind of like clay. And you just do a few coats of that. And then all of the flowers are either from Michael's or Joann's. It wasn't that expensive. Like, obviously, the vases were super cheap. Flowers can get a little pricey. But honestly, I probably did all of that with all the flowers for under 50 bucks. Which, And then any of the big skulls that you guys have seen in the past, and there are some below, those have, uh, I think they're both from Home Goods. <laughs> you guys are so cute. There are quite a few questions about my dating life. Um, Amanda, <laughs> Amanda Jones said, this is super nosy, but from a place of caring and nosiness. Definitely nosiness. <laughs> I thought I heard you mention a boy at some point. Curious if you're dating, nothing too personal. I am seeing someone. Um, uh, it, I didn't try to date. It wasn't like time to date. Um, this person, I have known him for a couple years, uh, probably about almost three years now. Um, and sometimes things just, you know, Sometimes your heart just, it just happens. So um, I'm very happy. Uh, I will probably keep most of it kind of private for now. Like, you know, I will tell you that. <laughs> there is a boy, a boy does exist. Yes. Amanda, you're so cute. Lauren asked, what are some goals you have for yourself personally and professionally? Goals for your channel? Love your videos, thanks. Thanks, girl. Like everyone has dreams, everyone has goals. Like, of course I would love for my channel to keep growing. Um, I'm just trying to be very, very, very thankful that I'm, I'm at the place that I'm at where, this is this is exactly where like, if I ever got to this point, I would, you know, I feel freaking blessed. Um, as long as my bills are paid and my cats are taken care of and I'm able to do the job I love, I'm happy. Of course, everyone would love to be a little bit more successful. I don't know how I'd feel about ever being like super successful. I feel like, I'm pretty safe from that ever happening. <laughs> of course, I would love to hit 100K subscribers someday. Hopefully that will happen. Um, we'll see, I feel like it's never gonna happen. YouTube, like growth goes like this, honestly. <laughs> I don't know. I just wanna be the happiest I can be and living my life to the fullest. And I'm really blessed with this job. I love getting to stay home with my cats every day. That's all I ever wanted in life. Um, I love being my own boss. Uh, so anything that can keep me keep doing this job and getting to like spend this time with you guys, that's all I want. <laughs> you know, it's all I want. Um, so please know how much it means to you guys when you watch a video, when you like a video, when you comment on a video, when you use one of my affiliate links, anything like that. Like it just, it means so, so, so much, you guys. When you buy from Poshmark, um, any of that, it just it means the world because it lets me keep doing what I'm doing and I mean I was a little bit nervous especially because now my bills have like doubled because back in November I you know ended my relationship at that point and you know I own my house and stuff like that so it's a lot but I'm doing it and you know how like gratifying that is to know that I'm like 100% just like taking care of myself girl it's awesome it's awesome I'm just living life you know yeah, no. Amanda Collins asked, why are you vegan vegetarian? Any specific reason? I noticed a few vlogs I've watched you don't eat meat. Not sure if you answered before, new sub here. Hey girl, first of all, thank you for being here. Oh my goodness. Um, yeah, I am vegan. I was a vegetarian for 16 years, I think, before I went vegan. Um, just personal choice. I saw some PETA stuff and stuff way back in the day um, that made me go vegetarian. And once I did it, I just like never looked back and I had always wanted to go vegan, uh, but I love cheese love cheese girl I still miss cheese I will never deny the gloriousness that is cheese um that's literally the only thing I ever miss and given there are vegan cheeses coming out non-stop and I have found one that's not bad it's the Trader Joe's mozzarella that one and the um I keep wanting to say earth balance but that's not right follow your heart parmesan those two so good so good um of course 
The Parmesan actually tastes like real Parmesan to me. Uh, the mozzarella isn't quite real mozzarella, but I'll take it. I'll take it. Um, it's just something I wanted to do. It's just something that I felt in my heart. You guys, it's for the animals. Like, no ifs, ands, or buts about it. Uh, there are great health benefits to it. Um, I, it's helped my swelling a lot. I have arthritis in my whole body. And so my joints swell a lot. And I think giving up dairy really did help that. It's not perfect, of course, but I do see a difference in the inflammation in my soreness since before I went vegan. So that was just a bonus factor to it. But I went vegan again for the animals. Just, you know, you do you. I'm gonna do me. I'm not gonna push that anybody, but I love it. Joni asked, how are you doing? I hope well. Doing really good. I'm doing really good. I mean, of course, I mentioned before um, some random, you know, life happens. I feel like the last few years there's been so much that has just happened in my life. To my sister's aneurysm, you guys, um, someone did ask uh, how my sister is. Uh, she's still doing great. She's back at work full time. She was seriously a miracle. Um, she was in the hospital for anyone that doesn't know and is newer. My sister a few years ago uh, had a brain aneurysm, was in the hospital for about a year, had four different brain surgeries and she made it through. Um, I would say she's about like 90% herself. Uh, but she's still like, she's working full time. She's doing great, which is, which is amazing. Uh, but that whole situation, I think just really changes your perspective on life. And I feel like I'm able to like really appreciate things even more than I used to. It's also helped a lot with like the whole body image thing. You guys ask about that a lot. And I just, I don't know that whole thing <sighs> among other things. I lost the love of my life to your, um, if you guys have been here from the beginning, he's, uh, he was in my very first video ever. Uh, he was my big orange cat. Um, Anna's obviously big and orange, right? But there was just a lot of things where that was like the first major loss of my life. He's my best friend. Uh, he was with me every single day. You know, he, he and I, he was almost 11. Um, and we, you know, lived together. I, I lived alone for um, most of that, you know, 11 years. And it just breaks my heart. So thinking about it. yesterday would have been his birthday. He would have been 15 yesterday. I believe. Oh, my heart. My heart is missing so much. Um, so with that, like you just start to realize how short life is. I mean, I'm in a really good place mentally. Things still get to me and I still have bad days and I still get depressed and I still get anxious. I'm thankful for the lessons it taught me. Uh, things are just good. Things are good. You know, people come in and out of your life um, and you just have to trust that you know, everything's a season. I don't know. I'm just trying to focus on the positives. Does that make sense? Um, so when I say that I'm good, like it's a different level of good. I'm just like extra thankful for everything positive in my life. And I've got my cats that I love. I love my family. Like I'm very, 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 very blessed. Um, I'm just super thankful. So I'm good. That was a lot of rambling. I'm not good at that. Trina asked, she said, what bloggers do you enjoy? What do you think of this crazy diet culture? Um, I have a lot of feelings about diet culture, but I, but at the same time, everyone is an individual, whatever they feel like is best for them. That's up to them. I just don't like when it's pushed on other people. Like when people, you know, many times I've been told to go keto. First of all, I'm a vegan. You know how hard it would be to go keto as a vegan? I, that would not be fun. If you ate like meat and cheese, like that, that might be fun, but I don't. So <laughs> I can't do that. You know, does that make any sense? I don't know. I yo-yo dieted for most of my life. We've all had those times, I think, as well as women, that everyone should just do what's best for them, you know? And just like, not everyone's gonna wanna do a vegan diet. That's just what I feel is best for me and what I enjoy doing with my life. So the toxic parts of it, not a fan of. But I think that there can be diet culture without being toxic, but a lot of it is super toxic. Don't get me wrong. Okay, so Jackie asked, what's one product you couldn't go without for makeup, skincare, and hair? I would like to see more Amazon hauls. Girl, I literally two days ago placed a big Amazon clothing order. So that's coming ASAP uh, before the end of the month, I believe. For makeup, Revolution Conceal and Define Foundation is forever my absolute favorite. Matt and Tarte Shape Tape, like they're just the perfect combination. I'm just forever obsessed with both of those. Uh, so those would be makeup. If I could only pick one, it would be Conceal and Define Foundation. It's just my favorite. Hair, probably right olaplex probably Ol olaplex step six that would be that would that's what it would be if it's a silent cream love it love it love it love it um but i honestly any olaplex products i'm a fan of uh besides the shampoo shampoo i don't love skincare right now it's that derma e renewing moisturizer i just love it i don't know it just it smells like fruit loops and it gets the job done and it's just so hydrating i love that there's a lot of dirt made products that i'm really obsessed with right now um if you check out i think in my last old haul i talk a lot about it girl dream sponsorship torrid i would love 
Torrid, 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 torrid. The next one is, have you taken an Enneagram test? If so, what number are you? Oh, yeah, because there's Briars, Meg. Bri what? Briars? Oh, my gosh. My <sighs> Myers-Briggs? <laughs> is that what it is? There's the two. Enneagram, I believe I'm a nine. And then the other one, um, most of the time I usually get INFJ, but I've gotten INFP before. Um, the next one is, what are your favorite YouTubers to watch? Looking for more content to watch. Love you. Love you, girl. I love vegan food videos. They're my favorite to watch. Sweet Simple Vegan. Uh, Jacqueline Forbes does vegan food videos. I love those. Uh, Sarah's Vegan Kitchen. Those, that's what I really love to watch. Of course, I still watch Taylor Wynn, uh, Rob Beauty Christie, Survey Vargas, Stella Williams, love her. Uh, the next one is if you had to choose one makeup brand and one clothing brand for the rest of your life, what would they be? Probably would be Torrid. It's all about, I'm chasing Torrid the Buttons video. Not really, just being very honest. Um, Torrid and then probably Revolution. You guys know I love me some Revolution. Always and forever. Uh, will you be moving to LA? Not any time. Sorry, I thought someone was next to me. I got really confused. Will you be moving to LA? Um, I don't see that happening in the future. If for some reason it would really benefit my career, then I mean, I, I don't see, I'm not opposed to it necessarily. Maybe someday. Uh, LA is amazing. I don't know. I kind of also want to live in the middle of nowhere. Like I would love to live, I mean, maybe outside of LA. I feel like if I were to choose somewhere to live anytime soon, it would probably be Portland. Uh, but I own my house here and uh, I don't see myself moving anytime soon. Who knows in the future? I'm definitely open to it. Uh, I don't know. What is your natural hair color? If you look really closely, first of all, you can see all of my gray hairs. Since I was 19, you guys, I've had crazy gray hairs, and they're all, like, up. There's a, a lot right here, um, but dark brown. Dark brown. Dream designer item you'd love to own one day. Okay, so that's the last question I screen cap, so we're going to end it there. Um, there is this purse from Prada so cute. My last Shein haul, I got a knockoff of it. Uh, that's probably my dream purse. I'll definitely put in a picture. It's like a celestial. Oh, it's so cute. It's so cute. Not very practical. I normally go with like bigger bags that have very basic black, black and gold always and forever. But that Prada purse, she cute. All right, loves. I think that's everything for this q and I feel like this is really long per usual. Hopefully you guys enjoy it. Um, I don't know. Yeah, I hope you guys are well. If you guys have any more questions that I didn't answer in this video, go ahead and leave them in the comments and I'll definitely do another one for you. I would love to do that. I love being able to sit here and chat with you guys and like I like talking about life and stuff like that. It's just, it's nice, you know, instead of just always talking about clothing or makeup products or something, it's just nice sometimes to talk about other stuff. Um, yeah, let me know how you guys are doing. Let me know if you have any questions. Thank you so much for the questions that you sent in. Thank you for being here. You guys mean the world to me. I hope you know how much I love you. I hope you guys are all doing well. Uh, yeah, just comment something down below. I don't know what. Just, just, just say hi. Even if you're someone that like very rarely comments, I would love to see your little, your little icon, your little face down in the comments. Just say what's up. What's up? All right. I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for watching. Give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Share it if you could. It does help me out so, so much. And please subscribe. If you haven't already, I upload videos every Monday, Wednesday, Friday. We do beauty plus size fashion, food videos, and vlogs. If you're into it, you're in the right place. Let's be friends. All right. I love you guys. I will talk to you soon. Bye. Uh, this is a really good question. Uh, what are... Okay. I don't know. I mean, of course, I would love to hit on... I cannot speak today. I don't want to talk about that anyway. Let's not talk too much about that. What? <laughs>